Hi, I'm Lewis Cahill from Ginga Gasoline. There's a lot of discussion these days about holding fish for photos and whether or not it harms the fish. Photographing fish is a big part of my job and I take it very seriously. I don't want to do any harm to fish when I'm out on the river. I'm going to show you how to hold a fish without hurting the fish and still get a good photo. We've caught a pretty little brown trout here and he's resting in the net head into the current. It's always a good idea to let your fish rest in the net for a few minutes before photographing and let him calm down and catch his breath. I'm going to reach under him with my right hand and I'm going to support his skull so that I'm not squashing his internal organs. Still keeping him in the water and everybody's nice and calm. Then I'm going to pick him up with my hand behind him and under his tail and just lift him briefly and put him back in the water. And in the time you do that, your buddy should be able to take a couple of nice shots. If you'll notice, I'm supporting the fish under his head where he has bone and I'm letting his peck fin come out between my fingers for a nice flattering photograph. So there you go, that's the best way to hold a fish for taking a photo and everybody will swim away happy. Here you go little guy, see you later. Thanks for tuning in to Gink and Gasoline. Stay tuned for more fly fishing tips.